What I'm about to show you might possibly change the way that tennis players train in the future. Let's check it out. Virtual reality has been around for a number of years now and has been used by pilots, drivers, military, architects and many other industries and is starting to make its way into the sports world. And because of the way that technology is evolving, it's slowly becoming more and more accessible for people like you and I. As a tennis player and coach, I was really excited to hear about a company called Sense Arena that were developing an app to help tennis players to train their cognitive skills through virtual reality. And I was even more fortunate that they actually reached out to me so that I could test their product. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a detailed review of Sense Arena Tennis. So first of all, this is the virtual reality headset. Uh, this is called a MetaQuest 2. You can buy it from most technology stores nowadays. It's made by Facebook company Meta. And what it does is you put this on and you can see in here there are two lenses which when you look through transport you into a virtual reality world. Now this headset is basically a games console. You can download tons of different games and experiences. You can watch movies on it. But in Sense Arena's case, you're transported onto a stadium tennis court. Now the really cool thing, which I'll go into a little bit more detail about later, is you can actually choose what court you're on, whether you're on hard court, clay court, grass court, and you're actually on a stadium so you can see and hear a crowd of people around the court. I hadn't used virtual reality before using Sense Arena Tennis and it blew my mind. It quite honestly feels like you're actually on a stadium tennis court. So this MetaQuest 2 comes with a charger, of course, and a set of two of these controllers. Now, these controllers work for all of the different games and apps that you can use within the headset. However, for Sense Arena, you can actually get one of these. This is called a haptic racket. And as you can see, it's a tennis grip which connects the MetaQuest controller at the top. Now, when you're actually holding this, it feels like a tennis racket. With the weight of the controller, it's balanced pretty well um, and feels quite realistic to the racket that I use. Now, as you can see, it's strapped on safely as when you're swinging this racket, and you'll see a little bit later, um, it needs to be held in place because you swing pretty fast in some of the drills. Now, the really cool thing about this haptic racket, the reason it's called a haptic racket, is it actually vibrates as you make contact with the ball. And this is perfectly in sync with your timing. And what I noticed straight away when hitting, even in the warm up, was that if I hit the ball slightly late, it would create a mistake at the other end of the court, just like it would in real tennis. Equally, if you swung too slow or your swing was too short, it had the same effect that you would have on a tennis court. What did you get? Zero out of ten. Zero? Yeah. What did you say? What did you say about that? That's really bad. I was, I was swinging so fast. Yeah. What about your volleys? Volleys was tough. Reaction was not great. Before I tested this product, I actually thought that it could be a little bit of a gimmick. But as soon as I started hitting the ball, you get instant feedback through the haptic racket. Just quickly, if you're enjoying this video or you just want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. Once you put the virtual reality headset on and log into Sense Arena Tennis, a dashboard comes up in front of you with tons of options. Now a good place to start is doing the warm up exercises. Your job is just to hit the balls back over the net and into the court. After this, you can come into the net and hit volleys, which is a really good test for your reactions and your preparation. To use most of the drills on Sense Arena Tennis, you do need a bit of space around you, but you can set your parameters quite easily using the virtual reality headset. Some of the drills you can actually do sat down on your sofa. There are a couple of serve anticipation drills where you have an opponent serving at you from the other end of the court. The screen freezes and you have to predict where their serve is going to end in the service box and also what type of spin they've hit, whether they've hit flat, slice or top spin. If you do have a bit of space, most of the drills are very, very physical. You do work up a sweat quite quickly using Sense Arena Tennis. Some of these clips that I'm showing you now show you what you can see through the virtual reality headset 
However, you're seeing this on a two-dimensional screen. When you actually put the VR headset on, you're truly immersed into a 360 degree experience. When you look behind you, you can see the scoreboard. You can hear the crowd in the left and your right ear. So it truly feels like you're there. Because this experience is so realistic, what's amazing is that you can customize loads of different areas of your practice. You can choose what type of player you're playing against, whether they're an adult or a junior. You can decide how tall they are, how quick their serve is, amongst other things. So if you've never had the opportunity to practice against somebody that serves at 120 miles per hour, well, with this, you can. What else is really, really cool is in their latest update, you can actually play in different weather conditions. You can choose whether you're playing day or nighttime under floodlights. You can change the position of the sun. So if you struggle with serving into the sunshine, this will be a great practice for you. And you can even change the wind direction. So if you struggle on windy days, you can have crosswinds, which make the ball curve into different directions. And you can also practice with wind against you or behind your back. As you can see here with my brother playing, it really encourages you to play like you would on the tennis court. Things like grip changes are important as the haptic racket knows which angle you're holding it at. So you can hit with topspin or slice. Oh, slice, hello. Oh. Ah. For me as a coach, there are a few ways that I would use this. Now, don't get me wrong, virtual reality will never replace playing tennis for real on a tennis court with a human being. However, it's a really good way to supplement your training. What you do on a tennis court when you're training your technique, your tactics, and the physical side of your game. Using Sense Arena Tennis, you can train some of the other areas that get neglected. Training your cognitive skills and the way that your eyes and your brain send messages to your kinetic chain to fire your strokes. And in sports like Formula One, where really quick reactions are required, they've been using this technology for years and years. Now, as tennis players, we need to compute tons of information within a very, very short amount of time between each shot. We need to know the height, the depth, the speed, the spin and the direction of the oncoming ball. We need to also be able to see our opponent's court position and the way that they're preparing for their strokes so that we can read how that oncoming ball is going to come towards us. There are already a number of professional tennis players that have added this into their training. I've spent a good amount of time using Sense Arena and I've only scratched the surface. There are still tons of drills that I haven't explored yet and I can't wait to see them. There are four key areas that Sense Arena can develop within your tennis. Your anticipation and reactions, your concentration, your decision making and visualization. Developing your reactions and your anticipation skills is obviously gonna help your tennis in a number of ways. Three of my favorite drills on Sense Arena for your reactions are synchro reflex, quick volleys, and return reactions. When it comes to training your concentration, then some of the accuracy drills are really good as you've got to really focus on your timing and your rhythm. After each exercise, you're given a concentration score and an efficiency score, which is a really cool way to give yourself some feedback. What was your concentration? 20%. <laughs> there are baseline drills where you have to hit cross court, down the line or down the center. And one of the drills that I really like is the multitask color drill. You can even train tactically with the decision-making drills. There are drills for when to transition to the net and shot selection, and also passing shot drills where your opponent will move one way and you've got to hit into the open court. Finally, visualization is really underrated. And what's really cool with this is because you can fully customize your experience, if you've got a match against a certain player coming up, you can set up the scenario to practice for it. If you know that your upcoming opponent is six foot two with a bomb of a serve, and that you're playing on a windy evening under the floodlights, you can set up this situation and practice ready for your real match. Now, of course, playing in real life against a human being can't be beaten. And if you have any opportunities to do that, I recommend you do. However, in real life, you can't always pick your practice partners. One thing that I absolutely love is that you can select your opponent to be a lefty. Now, personally, I have a nightmare playing against lefties, especially when they've got that slice serve out wide on the ad side. And unfortunately, there aren't many lefties for me to practice with. So setting this up on Sense Arena and actually receiving a serve against a lefty slice out wide is a really good way for me to anticipate and react to that oncoming ball so that when I play in real life, I'm slightly more prepared. I'm sure I've covered most areas of Sense Arena tennis, but if you think I've missed anything out that you'd like to know about, pop a comment below and I'll get back to you. I'll also put a link in the description to the Sense Arena website so that you can get some more information about how you can get your hands on it. One thing to note is it's only compatible with the MetaQuest 2. So if you're thinking about getting it, you'll need one of those first. And yes, these aren't cheap. 
However, there are tons of other uses for the MetaQuest. So it's not just Sense Arena that you'll be buying it for. In fact, we've been playing some fun party games over Christmas with the family. There's a game called Beat Saber, which is really, really cool. You might have seen that one before. But once you've got the MetaQuest 2, Sense Arena offer a number of different packages. So check out the link in the description below. And also as one of my subscribers, they're offering you $50 off. So be sure to use my discount code next to the link below. As always, massive thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.